Let's see how he takes that idea even further by jumping into Photoshop for more controlled creation. Please welcome back to the stage, Paul Tranny. Thank you so much. Thank you, Deepa. Yes, I got to finish the job, which is why I'm here in Photoshop. In fact, I'm going to start right here from the welcome screen, because right down here we have generation history. So everything I created earlier is really just one click away. We could jump in, don't have to clutter up my downloads folder. Now I'm going to make two designs. All right, I have this one. But before I begin, and before you begin any project, it's all about, is this image usable? Right? Is it big enough for me to actually use and explore my design with it? You say it's hardly even big enough for Instagram. Right? It's not quite going to cut it. Well, introducing in Photoshop, we have generative upscale. This is amazing. You said it. Right here, partner models, Topaz Bloom, creativity slider. If there's a creativity slider, you crank that all the way up, right? Two to four times the size upscale that bad boy. That's what's happening right now. Don't have to wait for it. I'm going to skip over just to save us on time. This exact same image. Here's our before. Right in here, we can see this like so. And then we have our after upscaled. Yes. Remember our before over here? What is this? Chocolate, melted chocolate ice cream? Oh, your mountains. I see it now. <laughs> Scrolling down. Right over here, you're like, oh, what is this mush? This is the creative upscaling. It's like, okay, it fills in those details and those rocks and everything where it needs it. Yes, salvaging images. I could use this now. It's what I want to do. Hey, something for you. You're not doing space stuff. Something closer to home just for fun, right? <laughs> Family photo time. I know you have one of these, right? Everybody's looking pretty good. My mom's the only one paying attention, apparently. <laughs> right? You have this at home. You're like, oh, help us all. Well, right in here. Generative upscale. Topaz, again, these partner models, we have Topaz, Gigapixel, and face recovery, right? Maintain those characteristics, right? And I can upscale it. So here's our before, and there's our after. Beautiful, right? My mom is beautiful. To this day, she is beautiful. Again, you guys interested? You guys not interested? You're not interested, little Paul? Well, clearly, you're not interested. Wake up, buddy. He just wants to nap. But this is so powerful, generatively upscaling images with partner models. So again, we got holidays coming around the corner. Just put that in the back of your brain. All right, let's move on. It's right over here. We're going to work on this design. I said I need to make two. So the first one's going to basically be a little bit more um, sort of uh, type, type heavy. So I'm just going to add some text right in here really fast. I'll just add something. And I want actually like block text. So jump in here. I want, that means like I want each line to basically be the same width, right? And it's all this tweaking that you have to do. You go in. You designers know what I'm talking about, right? Adjusting accordingly, right? And what we have the ability to do is jump in and right over here, dynamic text. Click there. Boom. And let's go and fix this. Let's go actually a little more centered, right? And there we have our text. It's already justified and reflows nicely. So designers, you, you want this. I want this everywhere now. You want to highlight a word or a piece of text or whatever, you have sort of that full control right there, OK? But we're, uh, we're covering up our little superstar right down here, right? This little astronaut. He's like, what about me? Guess we'll just take that. We'll duplicate that layer, put it on top of the layer sandwich, right? Delicious. Do a remove background, right? And this is what I want for my poster. Job one done. Let's move on. I don't know how much time. Thank you. Let's move on. To another planet, shall we? Right over here. Same situation, remove background, right? It does its job, right? And in here, I love Photoshop, right? Because I could say, take this, and let's just do a little pin, pin. I love the creative flexibility whoa, 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 that I have in Photoshop. So much fun, right? Whoa, look at this, whoa, 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 right? <laughs> okay, calm down. I want the precision of Photoshop. There we are, precision done. But I love this flexibility that I have. The big thing I need to do now is dive in and make him match like he's, look, like he's actually standing in this environment. So Photoshop users, you know this means adjustment layers, painting, stacking, da 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 like all this work to remove the, the blue and all that good stuff. If there's only an easier way, there better be if you're bringing it up, Paul. Harmonize. In Photoshop, clicks one button there. I have my subject. I have my background. It's analyzing the background, my lights, my darks. What color is the light? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. What is my subject on? What is the... There's so many questions that I have to actually figure out 
typically, and I'm like, you know what? Boom. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Wait. Before, after. Don't tell your boss about this. Right? That's what I want. You have choices. Two, you get to be art director. If you like this one, this one, this one. Oh, yeah, I got a promotion. Everybody's going to judge me from the one I pick. We'll go with this one. All right. It added that reflection down there. I can kind of clean that up, do what I need to, right? I have that flexibility. Over here, I can see I have uh, basically the layer mask. So I have, again, the ability to kind of do any other edits that I need to. And that is harmonize. It's, I swear, my new best friend in Photoshop. That gives me time to move on to another planet. Why not? Right over here. This guy in a seemingly lovely uh, flower, a valley, if you will. And we're going to get a little more creative at this point. I'm thinking it'd be cool to kind of jump in here, and I'm just painting with the selection brush, because what I want is I want vines crawling up, maybe crossing over him, and flowers kind of climbing up on his helmet, like so, and using this selection brush to control exactly where I want these flowers and vines to go. Now, what am I going to add? I'm going to add in some pink flowers and vines based on whatever model I want to choose. So partner models in generative fill. Flux Context Pro, Gemini 2.5, right? Picking the one you want, clicking Generate, and it's actually going to go ahead and take that. I like that sort of freedom to use these partner models, picking the one that's going to be best for this job, and I still have that precision, defining exactly where I want this. Oh, look at that. Oh, what incarnation happened? <laughs> Jokes, people. It's fun. Look at this. Covered in matches the flowers down there. Right, and this is generative fill with partner models. Right, so that's looking pretty good. I like my little guy, he's looking great. Uh, let's just take this, and now what I need to do is kind of bring these two together, because I have these two worlds. So let's do that right now. We'll just get creative, I'll kind of flip this and kind of work on this design a little bit more with a little uh, gradient. As we can see, I'm just gonna blend these two together, okay? So this is my second design. If you think about where we started, Right? We've done a lot. Let's flip this world around. Ooh. All right, back to right about there. OK, so what we've done in a short amount of time, salvaged images with generative upscale, dynamic text reflowing it the way I want, right? Using Harmonize on any object, it'll just make it match doing that job for you. Generative upscale using partner models. We've done a lot, but we're not done. So much tension. What's going to happen? What's going to happen with those two? Guess what? We could take this directly from Photoshop into Firefly. So that's what I'm selecting now. Anything you create in Photoshop, just send it on over, and then you get to boss it around, <laughs> which is what I'm doing right now. It will load it up. You could pick the model that you want. You get to get, be the producer or the director, you know, and I want two, you know, astronauts meeting. Right? I could frame this up any way I want. And again, I want them to meet, maybe rotate, maybe do a little zoom. We won't wait for this. I'll go ahead and click over right here. Let's see what's going to happen. It's the exact same prompt. Let's take a look at these two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Did we just become best friends? We did. And you should feel that way about Photoshop and Firefly. Thank you so much, everyone.